Hello, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Mariko. And I'm Tyler. We're back with a showcase full of indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. Let's dive right in. I'm Sue. And I'm Sharon. We're making a cooking game called Venba, which is about an immigrant Indian mother and her family coming to Canada in the 80s. Food often acts as a bridge between assimilated children and their immigrant parents, so we wanted to use cooking as a lens to tell the story of this family as they grow and change. We often see the kids' side of these stories, but as we ourselves got older, we thought telling the parents' side might make for an interesting change of perspective, and we hope you find it interesting too. Bon appétit and enjoy the show. Mmm, something smells delicious. Grab a spoon and get a taste of this wholesome narrative cooking game. Help an Indian mother who has recently immigrated to Canada reconnect with her heritage by cooking a variety of mouth-watering South Indian dishes. Experience a story of love and loss through branching conversations. Try to restore lost family recipes and bop along to a soundtrack inspired by Indian musicals. Start working up an appetite for Vemba, coming to the Nintendo Switch system next spring. Hey, Rico, ever wanted to make a game? Yeah, but it's a lot harder than you might think. Just ask Kani'i and Kumade, two friends striving to find the perfect idea for their next game. Watch their story develop as you play through stages of a retro-inspired puzzle platformer while following their day-to-day -day struggles. Their recent games haven't exactly been raking in profits, so both of them must work part-time jobs to make ends meet. Will their friendship be able to take the strain of these challenges? Find out when Goodbye World launches on Nintendo Switch later this month. Dying to play this one. It would be a grave mistake to skip it. Don the robes of Death Incorporated CEO, Death himself, in this grimly charming roguelike game. It looks like your subordinates have been working overtime, so it's up to you to restore work death balance. There are 70 wicked weapons and scorching spells at your disposal, all of which can be upgraded to create devastating combos as you hack and slash your way through the corporate underworld. One of the perks of being death is that, well, you can't die. So use what you've learned and earned to overcome each department's vengeful minions and bosses. Reap what you sow when Have a Nice Death slashes onto Nintendo Switch March 22nd. Pre-orders begin later today. Bonjour, je suis Justine. Et Amara. Et nous sommes Cosmo Gato. Passionnés de films d'animation, et après avoir travaillé sur des longs métrages, nous avons voulu créer un monde magique que l'on pourrait s'approprier. En effet, après avoir grandi avec des films d'animation traditionnels des années 90, il m'était naturel de dessiner un monde luxuriant, organique et peint à la main, avec une histoire qui, je l'espère, vous touchera. Merci. Merci. Is there anything better than relaxing in nature and enjoying the gentle sea breeze? 
what about doing both of those things while lying on top of a giant capybara? In this small open world game, you have one goal, find inner peace on an isolated island paradise. As the retired warrior Akka, explore handcrafted islands covered in majestic mountains, dense tropical forests, and inviting hot springs. Spend your time here however you'd like. Nurture the island's flora and fauna, build a shelter, craft items, or feed these adorable baby dragons. Or go on quests to meet mysterious characters, friendly giants, and face the ghosts of your past. Literally. Akka washes up on Nintendo Switch December 15th. Can you dig this game? Yes, and so can Pepper. This spicy, drill-wielding treasure hunter has been shipwrecked and robbed. Now, she must spin up her trusty drill grinder to reclaim what was stolen from her, chew through the terrain, perform impressive maneuvers, and solve tricky puzzles as you unearth collectibles for your gallery and gather up pieces of the scattered riches. Cash them in to Peppa Pepper and upgrade Grinder with new drill bits. Ramp up the chaos of the map and open up even more areas to dig in this thrilling drilling adventure. Pepper Grinder burrows onto Nintendo Switch next year. Whew, I think it's time we take a coffee break. Then pull up a chair because this coffee brewing, narrative driven visual novel is back for a second episode. As the barista of your own late night coffee shop, meet quirky characters, listen to their heartfelt stories, and get to know them one cup at a time, all while enjoying the cozy lo fi soundtrack. Not all of your customers will be human. You'll encounter an opera singing banshee, an orc who makes games and many more fantastical regulars. Experiment with ingredients to find just the right brew for each customer. Dazzle them with latte art masterpieces and uncover secret recipes that are sure to warm their heart. Relax and stay a while when Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly, pours onto Nintendo Switch next spring. Take on the role of a vengeful demon warrior in this spirited 3D action adventure. After his defeat at the hands of a Japanese folktale hero, Kuta travels to a small island where he joins forces with the spirit, Kazemaru. Ancient demons lurk within vast meadows and lush forests. To defeat them, you'll control both characters simultaneously using a single Joy-Con controller. Wield Kuta's club to attack demons then summon Kazemaru to draw out their spirits. But beware, 
Some demons are invincible, leaving you with no other choice than to flee the encounter. Can Kuta overcome his trials and become the most powerful demon? Begin your quest in Oni, Road to be the Mightiest Oni, when it comes to Nintendo Switch, March 9th, 2023. From the creators of Monument Valley comes a character-driven, roguelite, metaphorical ball game? Every night, when Desta falls asleep, they enter a mysterious dream world filled with scattered memories of long-forgotten locations, faces from days gone by, and yes, powerful orbs for playing a surreal turn-based ball game. Use the orbs to pull off perfect throws, shoot sneaky trick shots, and change the course of conversations. As the night progresses and you fall deeper into a sweet slumber, you'll unlock new abilities and ways to overcome challenges. You'll also meet a cast of colorful characters along the way, brought to life with a full voice cast. I'm not sure I can keep up. Unravel your dreams when Desta, The Memories Between, launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. Ah, young love. Going to the movies, skipping school, using supernatural mind-reading powers. Yeah, wait, what? Yep, this slice of life pixel art game has it all. Set in 90s rural Indonesia, it follows high school sweethearts Atma and Raya through their journey of self-discovery. However, when a mysterious power suddenly threatens their existence, they must scour their vibrant little town in search of answers, talking and diving into the minds of the townsfolk to uncover deep secrets. Can Atma and Raya face the end of the world? Find out when A Space for the Unbound launches on Nintendo Switch January 19th, 2023. Bonjour, je suis Cédric Babouche du studio Un Je Ne Sais Quoi et directeur artistique de Dordogne. Dordogne, c'est l'histoire de Mimi, une jeune femme sur les traces de ses souvenirs qu'elle a mystérieusement oubliés. Quand j'étais enfant, je me souviens que l'été était synonyme d'indépendance et d'exploration. Un moment magique où chaque jour était la promesse d'une nouvelle aventure. Notre studio souhaite recréer cette étincelle de nostalgie à travers le parcours de Mimi. On se sert d'un mélange de peinture traditionnelle et d'animation, pour créer des sensations et un lien fort entre les visuels et les émotions que l'on souhaite partager. Que vous jouiez seul ou avec votre famille, on espère que vous apprécierez Dordogne. Look at these landscapes. Ooh la la, so pretty. Meet Mimi. As a child, she spent all of her summers here. Now she returns to her late grandmother's home to find that she's left behind a series of letters and lost family secrets for Mimi to uncover. Revisit Mimi's childhood memories and help her reconnect with the inquisitive girl she once was. Play both in the past and the present. Skip along the picturesque French countryside as 10-year-old Mimi while exploring her grandmother's house in the present. Discover the close relationship between grandmother and granddaughter as you collect photos, objects, and words. Use them to fill Mimi's journal and keep her precious memories alive. Dordogne, 
travels onto the Nintendo Switch system next spring. I can barely keep a houseplant alive. <laughs> don't worry, you don't need a green thumb to enjoy this one. As Arabella Green, you're a retired botanist who has a grand manor all to yourself. Take care of its magnificent gardens by solving plant-based puzzles and preserving a collection of forgotten flora. Unearth seeds, pot them, and find their ideal habitat. Some plants will be fussy, so you'll have to think outside the box or pot to locate the right place for them. Inspect the manor for clues, newspaper clippings, letters, and more to help your gardening skills blossom while learning more about Arabella herself. Stop and smell the flowers when Botany Manor blooms onto Nintendo Switch next year. Whoa, sick crocodile costume. It's a dragon. <laughs> anyway, we better start the show if we want to win the theater contest. Okay, let's go. The Royal Theatrical Spectacle is the best of all the festivals where everyone loves acting and people appreciate it. You guys totally have a chance to win the contest and perform at the Royal Theatrical Spectacle. The Royal Theatrical Spec, the Royalty Spay Part, the Royalty Pay Spectacularus. Stand down, dragon. You're no match for me. You'll never defeat me, prince. Oh, it's a film all. Hoi, we zijn Bonte Avond, een groep van vier muzikanten die samen games zijn gaan maken. Games maken voelt soms als optreden voor ons. Voice acting improviseren met vrienden, samen liedjes spelen en gewoon grapjes en ideeën ter plekke bedenken. Je kan het ook voelen in het spel, waar vaak wat je hoort ook ons eerste take was. We wilden de spelers dit gevoel van improvisatie geven door ze te laten acteren, zingen en dansen in ons nieuwe spel Once Upon a Jester. Het is gevuld met zelfgemaakte liedjes, grappige personages en avonturen. We hopen dat je het leuk zal vinden. You know what? I'm joining a traveling theater troupe. <laughs> Surely you jest. Nope. Musical theater rules. That's what best friends Sock and Jester are about to discover. They've devised a mischievous scheme to steal a royal diamond. Trouble is, their plan hinges on receiving an invitation to join the famous royal theatrical spectacle. Only the best of the best get invited, so they'll have to improv their way to fame and outperform every other act they encounter on the road. Join them on their wacky, whimsical journey across a fantasy kingdom full of silly characters and even sillier spectacles. No two performances are the same, so sing your heart out, crack jokes, and make the stage your own. Once Upon a Jester jingles onto Nintendo Switch later today. Anyone can be a hero in this sequel to the classic roguelite game where the adventure changes with every playthrough. Whether you're a loot-playing bard with vertigo or a vegan chef who fights meat, your goals are the same. Gather countless riches, build up your castle, and ensure your legacy. All your upgrades carry over to your heirs, and each new successor wields their own personal traits and abilities. The Nintendo Switch version also includes the Fabled Heroes update, adding a ton of new content, including dozens of new subclasses and items. So experiment with different playstyles as you battle fierce foes, make friends, and avoid clown bites that can give you clown anthropy. Ugh, you might want to get that looked at. You won't have to wait long to build your own legacy. Rogue Legacy 2 launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Buddy up and experience the emotional tale of an unlikely friendship in the co-op adventure, Blanc. A wolf cub and a fawn are stranded together after a sudden snowstorm. Now, they must learn to rely on each other as they trek through the vast snowy wilderness, following their family's tracks. Two players must work together by using each animal's abilities to navigate obstacles among the frosty terrain. In addition to simple controls, 
This game's story and gameplay are both text-free, so anyone can easily immerse themselves in this handcrafted monochrome world. Start your journey when Blanc steps onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive on February 14th. Pre-orders begin later today. Can't get enough indies? Let's take a look at some more games coming to Nintendo Switch soon. Hi, I'm Lucas. I guess we like to keep things pretty tidy around the house, don't we? Yeah, it can be so satisfying to find the right spot for things. Yeah, like I love finding the perfectly sized plastic container to fit leftovers in. That's the best. I know! This is what our game A Little to the Left is all about. Finding satisfying puzzles hidden among household objects. Yeah, it's inspired by our lives, our home, and our cat, Rookie. Rookie just gets in the way sometimes. He can't help it. He sleeps at Lucas's desk while he's working. Yeah, and I have to type between the tail swishes. Yeah, so we hope you have a really good time tidying up in a little to the left. Thanks. Can you move this picture a bit? Yes, a bit to the left. A little bit more. That's it, perfect. Wow, you really like things neat and tidy, huh? You will too after playing a little to the left, a cozy puzzle game where you organize household objects into satisfying arrangements. Sort spoons of different sizes and shapes, stack papers, put away the cat toys. Oh, did I mention there's a cat? Hey, pause off. This fluffy friend has mischief on their mind and will show up from time to time to make a mess of your beautifully organized objects. But don't worry, there are more than 75 delightful messes to solve, many of which have multiple solutions. Oh, and yes, you can pet the cat. Neat! A Little to the Left launches on Nintendo Switch later today. And that's it for today's indie. Wait, is that four? Sorry to putt in, but we have an update on Sports Story. In this all out sporting RPG, you'll rise through the ranks of the sports world and prove your prowess on the golf course, tennis court, and soccer field. There are even more sports in your quest for athletic excellence. Raise your sporting rank to unlock even more disciplines, including BMX, mini golf, volleyball, cricket, and more. Then kick back at the mall to relax, go on quests, and explore dungeons? That's right. This game isn't just about sports. Hop on a train or helicopter to visit goat-infested buildings, abandoned ruins, and the mysterious wildlands. Or pursue your other passions. Make friends and enemies, go fishing, become a detective, partake in a bit of espionage. There's so much to do. 
you won't have to wait long. Sports Story kicks off on the Nintendo Switch system next month. And that's it for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed the games in today's showcase. A big thank you to our indie community and to partners working on games for Nintendo Switch. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow our official Twitter account to stay up to date on all the latest news from Indie World. Until next time, happy, happy gaming! gaming!